Hello, David. Hello, how are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Super good. Yes, sir. Super good. Give me a second. There we go. All right, can you hear me properly? Yes, I can hear you. Very good, very good, okay. All right, welcome aboard, Thomas Machado. Nice to see you again. Where have you been, Thomas? Ah, been working. And the last time there was a thunder, thunderstorm and the electricity was running out. So and yeah. I don't, I only have like, uh, I only pay for Wi-Fi wi and I don't have access to internet on my cell phone. I can't oh. afford that, so yeah. Okay. But now I'm here. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for being here. You know, what's important is today, right? But, uh, yeah, because you missed a lot of class. Try not to, to miss class, guys, because then, you know, uh, sometimes we don't know how to answer the exercises in the platform, right? Um, but but I understand, Thomas. I know uh, you've been with me before. I know that you're very responsible and that you work a lot. Uh, how is how's your business going? Well, uh up and down, up and down, but the best thing is I, I sell a little bit every day, so that's the best, okay. you know. All right. At least you can at least I make a dollar. <laughs> that's okay. That's that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Yeah, exactly. But you got uh, you you got you promote yourself on Facebook, right? Yes, I do that, and I do that on Facebook, and I do it on WhatsApp too. And I'm going to start making pizzas pretty soon, so. Nice. Trying to do my best. Yeah. Nice, I make man. uh I make soups, uh I make uh Salvadorian Spanish con pollo. Um try everything. So no, so right. Gonna, yeah. Something's gonna make it through, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. Very good, man. I'm glad to have you here. What about you, Fatima Campos? How have you been? Hi, I have, I have been looking for a job. <laughs> You've been looking for a job? Oh, wow. Yeah. How is that going? Well, they didn't call me. Oh, wow. I bet, but I mean, I mean, did you apply to only one job or have you been applying to, you know, have you, have you been going well, to multiple places? Yeah, I applied to three call centers. Okay, what call centers have you applied to? TP, Telus, and Sykes. Okay, all right, TP, Telus, and Sykes. Oh, wow, and what, what happened yeah. at Telus? They didn't call me, I don't know why. Oh, but, but you're good, Fatima. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're good. I mean, Telus is good, I, the other, I mean, the other, other places, you know, I don't know, right, but I know that Telus is good. All right. Uh, well, welcome aboard. You know, just just keep trying. Like one of them is gonna say yes. You know, eventually, yeah, right? Yeah, I hope so. All right. Very good. Uh, Armando, how how have you been, Armando? Fine. I was doing some homework, and I was I start watching a series. Oh, what series have you been watching? I have been watching the Umbrella Academy. I'm watching the first season. Watching what? All right. Watching. Yes, Che Chucho, right? <laughs> All right, yes. I right. very good. Hey, what do you, you know what? I know like I know the, the, the Umbrella Academy was created by uh, the singer from My Chemical Romans, right? Yes, and they adapt the comics to a series. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, is it good? Do you, do you like it? Do you think that it's worth watching? Yes, uh, I like it till the moment that I have, so. Okay, all right, very good. All right, guys, so we're quickly gonna go, thank you so much for being here, guys. Uh, we're quickly, quickly gonna go over the answer so far, okay. So who has not, the okay, case, so let me ask you this, guys. Who has not finished section number one at 100 percent me 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 
Okay, all right, all right. One answer is what I must me. Okay, me. so which ones are you missing? Yeah, all of them. <laughs> all right, hey guys, you cannot. All right, you have to work on the platform. That is the most important thing, right? So do me a favor. Yeah, watch. I have, uh, yeah oh. I've been having problems with the knowledge check, but uh, with the listening part, I don't have any problems. Okay. And the other part, but this part, yes. Uh, for some weird reason, I tried to type it to spell, uh, to write everything. But it doesn't accept it. So. Right. No. Okay. I, I I I understand. I understand. Okay. I understand that, guys. Okay. But uh, two things, guys. Okay. All right. I know. For example, I know Thomas has been having issues with with his internet. But first of all, guys. Okay. Really important to come to class because we see. You know, you get the, the explanation here and you get the answers here as well. Secondly, I I know that Thomas. You know, he's an exception because he really had some issues, right? But uh, but in the case of Thomas, right, you can watch the videos, guys, okay, and you see the explanation there and the answers. Uh, the answers, because we always saw them here online, you know. Uh, so please, guys, please get connected, right, so you can finish the exercises and uh, we know the, the right answers, right? Um, also, guys, if, uh, if you really can, remember, please watch the videos, guys, of the class that you missed, okay? Because the explanation is there and the classes are there. Um, so yeah, just, just that case. Okay. So far so good guys, but, uh, finishing the platform is the most important thing. So now, uh, this one guys. Okay. So these, uh, this one, I think that we have, um, we have solved it already. Did, did I solve it with you guys? Did I give you the answers for this? The listening exercise? Oh no, no, I didn't give you the answer for the listening exercise, but I did for the knowledge check. Okay. This one, see, so we solved this. Uh, we saw this already. It's right? 1.8, right? Yes, that is the knowledge check, and we have solved this already in the class, guys. So, now, why am I saying this, guys? Because I cannot, guys, be, okay, we have done this already, right? So, I cannot go back because I need to follow the class, right? I need to continue with the class, right? So, these, guys, the answers of these is in one video that we already finished, Okay. So I have not given you the answers for the listening exercise, right? Uh, but this one, I think that everybody has completed. Nobody had an issue with that. But this one, guys, please watch the videos. I mean, the knowledge checks, please watch the videos, guys, because this has been completed in the class with everybody, okay? Yes or not, guys? Yes. Yes, right? We have completed. So, um, so just watch the video, okay? Now, this one, guys, uh, we have not done this one in the class, right? But it's another listening exercise. So let me ask you something, guys. Who has, who's had an issue? So who has completed everything except, uh, you know, except the knowledge check? Because this one, we have already resolved it, right? The only right? one in I the have issues is with the 1.2. 1. 1. 1.2, okay, let's see that yeah. one. Okay. All right, Same here. Good. All right, that one was also solved within another class, guys, okay? I'll show the answers real quick, guys. Just take a screenshot, but I will not be going back to uh, exercises that we have already resolved, guys, okay? You have the classes, and we have, and we have uh, the videos, okay? Anyways, so here's, uh, here are the answers, guys. Take a screenshot. I'm sorry, somebody said something. Did you have a question? This question just was asked. Um, uh, could I test him if you know, if you remember that? No. Oh. Oh, no okay. Did you remember that? You know? All right. I, it's, it's hard to, it's hard oh. to understand because of your, because of the microphone. Uh, the last the, two? The last two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The last two from the 1.8 exercise. Yes. All right. Anyway, so here you go, guys. Okay. All right. So there you got. Uh, there you have the 1.2 um, answers here. Okay. And this one, guys. Okay. The explanation, everything else is in the video, guys. The 1.8. This one right here. Now about the about the knowledge check, guys. Okay. Remember, uppercase. Okay. Everything like use correct. Uh, a capitalization, right? And remember to use the commas and the periods, right? Because this is like very, very, very tricky. 
Okay, so you have to write it down in a specific uh, way so it accepts the answer, okay? All right, but this is, I think this was recorded yesterday, guys, so just go ahead and take a look at that, okay? All right, so let's move on, guys, to uh, number two. Aside from that, guys, did, uh, did you have an issue with another exercise is that from 1.8? No. No. All right. Very good. Okay, real quick. So if you want to check what you have versus what I got here, okay? All right, just take a screenshot. This is what we saw yesterday. All right, did you take a screenshot? Very good. All right, guys, so let's move on with the next one, okay? So let's go to section two. All right, guys, so present perfect. Uh, what do we use present perfect for? What do we usually use present perfect for? Okay, all right, I'm not really understanding that, Miguel. All right, anyways, guys, so guys, um, so present perfect versus simple past, okay? Now, what is the difference between them two? So one action, guys, one action. First of all, guys, present perfect, we use it for call, for talking about experiences. We use it for what? Talking about experiences. For talking about experiences in, okay, so experiences, right? If you have experience about something that happens in that, I mean, that happened in that? Past. The past. past, very good job. Okay, so that happened in the past. Now, a um, simple past, guys, is an action that has already finished, okay? So it completely finished. So present perfect, guys, okay? The other, the other, the other difference that present perfect versus simple past has is that it's an action that, you know, happened in the past, and, uh, something, and, and sometimes it has an effect in the present. Okay, so what do I mean? You can say, uh, if I say the trainer has saved all the paintings, okay, the example that we got here, the first one, is this referring guys to something that has already stopped or did this have a consequence in the present? What do you think? Save all paintings. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He just still well, it has to. It has painting. to do with the present too, because he they still have the paintings. So basically, he saved them, and the trainer has saved all the paintings. Very yes. good job. I'm sorry. Yes, that that is absolutely correct, guys. That is absolutely correct. All right. Yes, it has to do with the present. Yes, because right, the paintings were saved. Right. So. If the paintings had not been saved, you know, you wouldn't have the paintings anymore. But you do have the paintings in the present, right? So uh, let's make a let's let's make a small timeline here, all right? In which, and again, guys, this is one of the usages, right? Because also we talk we use it for talking about experiences, right? Now, anyway, so you got the present here, you got the future, and you got the past, okay? All right, so an action, okay, so so the train here, guys, okay, the train, all right, let me make the best representation of a train here, okay, so this, let's pretend that's a, a train, okay, so the train, guys, okay, all right, the train saved all the paintings, okay, so saved all the paintings ha happened here, okay. So now the paintings, guys, okay, so if I am talking about them, if I am talking about this experience, okay, the paintings, okay, you got the, the Mona Lisa here, right? Okay, so the paintings, guys, are still in the present because of the action that happened in the past, okay? All good? Okay. All Amy, right, tell me. Are you sharing something on, it, on the screen? Yes. Because I can see it. Um... Yes, I am sharing. I am sharing. Yes, guys, I'm sharing the screen. Guys, can you see the? Can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay, right. I can see the 1.8 knowledge check. <laughs> mm. The different answers. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna share it again. I think your 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 computer got stuck or something, man, because I was sharing. I don't know. I was sharing something else. Okay, can you see now? Uh, wait. Uh, uh is black. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, everybody else, can you see the can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. All right, so David, uh, <laughs> that's your computer, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, guys. So, so next one, guys. Okay. Uh, so we use the simple present to report the recent event without giving a specific time reference, right? So now. Uh, that's another thing, guys, okay? We do not, okay, so present perfect, okay? Write this down, present perfect, okay? No specific time, okay? So we don't give a specific time in present perfect, okay? That's another thing, all right? Right? So present perfect, no specific time okay as opposite all right as um opposite in simple past guys okay so simple past okay simple past specific specific time okay all right guys so in simple past yes we do give a specific time but not all the time, guys, okay? So it doesn't mean that every time that you speak in simple past, you're going to give a specific a, a specific time reference, okay? Let's call it time reference because I don't want you to think that this is like talking about giving a specific time such as 8 a.m. or, you know, like, like a, the time from a clock, right? All right, so let's call it a specific time reference, okay? So this means like talking about yesterday, you know, um, last week, things like that, okay? So time reference, time references, right? So uh, help me read the example number one, David. I, I mean, number, see. number, oh, you can't, you still can see it? Okay. Yeah. All right, Miguel, help me read the example number one regarding uh, simple past. After a day at the mall, the woman went out to, the, to her car, but couldn't find her keys. I started teaching her to paint last year. Oh, it was on, only one example, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I should have said read the example only, right? But yes, guys, okay, so after a day at the mall, the woman went out to her car but couldn't find the keys, well, her keys, right? I started teaching her to paint the last year. Actually, no, there, there are two sentences, right? Like this one and this one right here. Okay, anyways, guys, so, where on okay so in the first example guys where do you see the time reference at the start after a day at the mall very good job okay at the start after a good day i mean a day at the mall okay very good all right now on the on the uh the second example guys where do you see the time reference uh the end last year Okay, right, very good. So you see it here, guys, at the end, okay, last year. So last, last year, right, last year tells you that this happened, you know, at a specific time, right? The, the specific time here is when? The specific time is here? Yeah. Last year, very good job, okay? All right, good job, guys. Good, 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 good job. All right, so let's talk about uh, other examples, okay? All right. All right, so let's talk about examples in simple and in uh, present perfect. Now, we're gonna go through the, stru the structure and all of that, guys, okay? But let's just talk about examples right now, okay? All right, so one thing that you have to remember, guys, okay, I'm gonna give you a key, okay, a key tip, key tip is that in present, I mean, in, in perfect tenses, guys, you're always going to have the auxiliary have, okay? Always. 
All right, have or has or had, right? So in present perfect, you use these two auxiliaries, all right? Have or has, if it is third person or first person. Anyways, all right, so let's take a look at some examples, okay? So I'm gonna give you uh, my examples and then you're gonna send me examples in the chat room, okay? So you can say, for example, Michelle has watched that movie. All right, so this happened in the past, guys, okay? And, all right, so uh, this happened in the past, but remember, I'm not giving a specific time reference. We only know that we're talking about the past here. Now, is this an experience from Michelle? Yes or not? Yes. All right, it is an experience, right? Very good. All right, uh, Michael, okay, Michael, is it spelled like that? I'm not sure. My, yeah, it's like this, okay? Yeah. Michael has won the lottery, okay? All right, so again, I'm not giving a time reference, right? I'm just talking about that experience from Michael. And what was the experience from Michael? He won the lottery. That he won the lottery, very good, very good. Very good, okay, uh, Ellie says, I have done my stuffs. Now, Stuffs, guys, when you say stuffs, okay, stuff actually, stuff does not have a plural, okay? So you never okay. say stuffs, okay? It doesn't have a plural. What you say is things, or you can say just stuff, okay? I've not finished my stuff, okay? We know that when you okay. talk about stuff, it involves a group of things, okay? So it's just stuffs, stuff, I'm sorry. All right, but very good, okay? The structure is good, Eli. Fatima Ramiz, they have cleaned the car. Very good, Fatima. Uh, Miguel, the knight has embarked uh, in a crusade. Very good. Now, the, the only thing that you would, we, uh, that I would correct there, Miguel, is the preposition in, because that would be has embarked on a crusade, okay? Uh, years ago, the knight embarked on a crusade again, right? David hit on today. I have had a lot of issues with my computer. Okay, very good. She has already cooked dinner. Very good job, uh, Armando. Okay, what what did she cook? <laughs> what did she cook? Okay, all right, very good, guys. So, all right, good job, guys. Okay, you're getting you're getting you're getting the the gist of it. All right, so um, so let's use other pronouns, guys. Okay. All right, I don't want to talk about Cheyenne today. Now nah, I'm kidding, we're going to talk about Cheyenne. All right, so Cheyenne, but let's say Cheyenne to the pronoun, right? What pronoun would it be? I, uh, you, he, she, it. He. What pronoun? He. Okay, he, it will be he, right? So he has one. Okay, he has, he has what? Give me a verb in past participle. Uh-huh. He has played soccer. He has played soccer. Very good job. Okay, so he has played soccer. Okay, so he has played soccer. Now, you could add a time reference, but not a specific time reference, right? You could say, he has played soccer in the past. All right, that would be okay. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you could, you could, you could give a time reference, but... It's not going to be such a specific time reference, okay? All right, let's take a look at more examples. I can say, now notice, guys, with, with any other pronoun other than, other than third person, you're always going to use have, right? So I can say, I have, I have cleaned my room, okay? All right, another example. You have done your homework, all right? So another example, okay? Uh, we have, what? Give me, give me, give me, um, give me a. Oh, I'm here. The what? We have given you about Donald Trump. And okay, we have given <laughs> you, we have given you a gift, okay? We have given you a gift. 
All right. All right. Uh, you can also say they have um, they have won the elections. Right. <laughs> if you're watching the elections from the United States, guys, right? All right. Very good. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I want to know already. Just just because, not not that I care that much. All right. Very good. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Okay. I want to see I want to see um what American is wearing my estreno. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So he can so he can uh use some suavitel on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good, guys. So all right, guys, so um, are the examples clear, guys? Or do you think that you need more examples? I think it's good. Okay, very good. Now, that was about, that was about um, present perfect, right? Now, simple past, guys, okay? The only thing that I want to teach you now, because you know, I know that you know simple past, right? But uh, the thing that I do want to teach you about this is the, the, the time reference, okay? So try to give me specific time references. Think about time and what would be specific. If I say, if I say, uh, uh, a, okay, very good. Okay, at 8 a.m., okay. Um, a year ago, very good. That would be a, a specific time reference, a year ago. Okay, what else, guys? What else? Two days ago. Okay, two days ago. Very good. What else? Either, either weekend. Yeah. Uh, last. Okay, last weekend. Okay, mm -hmm. what else? Last month. Okay, last month. Very good. All right. What else? Last Monday. Okay, last Monday. Okay, last Monday. Uh huh. Yesterday. Okay, you can say yesterday. Very good. Okay, yesterday. Uh huh. What else? A week ago. Okay, you can say a week ago. A week ago. Very good. Uh huh. What else? Last night. Last night. Right. All right. Last night. Okay, last night. Very good, guys. Okay, so all of these are time references because they talk about a specific moment, okay? All right? And that's it. If you're, talk, if you're talking about a specific moment, then you can use, you know, you can use that in simple past. Now, does it mean that you can only use simple past with time references? No. Okay? This is just another one of its uses, Okay? This is just telling you, hey, you know what? On top of using past, simple past, remember that you can use simple past with time references, okay? So it's something additional, okay? So you're adding more cheese to the burger, okay? Right, extra okay. cheese, right? Okay. So that is the reason why, all right? So far so good? Yeah. All right, yes. so what examples can we think about, okay? Now that we know time references, okay, give me a sentence in simple past and add the time reference. You can either add it at the end or at the beginning of the sentence, right? Well, depending on what time reference you're gonna use. If you add it at the beginning, all right, if you add it at the beginning, you most likely are gonna use a comma, right? Like pretty much all the time, okay? So if I'd say, for example, at eight, a.m., all right? So if I use the, the time reference at the beginning, guys, okay? I'm gonna use a comma here. At, a, at 8 a.m., right? Mm -hmm. At 8 a.m., uh, I saw, okay, I saw your Toxica with, no, I saw your, I saw your car being stolen, right? Okay, so I saw your car being stolen. Okay, so when did this happen? At 8 a.m. Okay, this happened at 8 a.m., right? Very good, all right? 
Super good, guys. So I'm, I'm being specific about the time, but I could also say I saw your car being stolen at 8, <coughs> 8 a.m., okay? So now, did I use a coma in the second example? I say it could be stolen at 8 a.m. No. No, guys. No. All right, if you use it at the end, all right, you're not going to use the comma uh, insert. Like, well, in most cases, right? All right, so um, so let's see, right? I'm going to ask you, for example, send me your examples in the chat room, guys. Um, Armando says, last night she cooked tamales for dinner. Very good, Armando. You could also say she cooked tamales for dinner last night, right? Been very good. You're using comma, comma at, at, uh, at the beginning. Now, remember, guys. Comas, right, when you're finishing the platform are very important, okay? So please, if you use, you know, the time reference at the beginning, remember to add that coma, okay? Because otherwise, it might not take your answer. And, uh, and you know, it's like a very small mistake, right? Okay, very good. So uh, let's see, Lydia, give me an example, Lydia, of simple present. Hello, Lydia? Lilia, five, four, three, two, one. De seguir. Let's go. Give me an example of simple present. Daisy, are you there? No, Daisy. Veronica, give me an example of simple present. I mean, I mean um, past, uh, simple past. Yesterday, I went to the grocery. Okay. Yesterday. Coma or, or no coma? With comma. Comma. Yesterday, I went to the grocery shop. Grocery, grocery shop. Or okay, grocery. To the grocery shop. Very good job. Yesterday, I went to the grocery shop. Very good job. Okay, that's a good example. All right. Let's go, uh, David Hiron. Give me another example, David. Now, I want you to use the time reference at the end, not at the beginning. I think David is AFK right now. Miguel, give me another one. I'm actually thinking of one. Uh, I can't. I don't have any idea right now. Okay. All right. All right. Think about it, and then I'm gonna ask you. Uh, Armando, give me another one. Armando, at, uh, but let's use this time reference at the end of the sentence this time. Okay. Armando. Two weeks ago, I. All right, let's use it. Let's, uh, let's use it at the uh, end, okay? Let's use it at the end of the sun. I watch a really good movie last. I watch a uh, uh, what movie? I watch. Watch. No, no, I know. I, I you said a, a a movie, but I don't know what type of movie you said. Um, uh, I don't remember. Okay, it's okay. All right, so I watch a movie, okay? I watched the movie. Last week. Okay, last week. Very good. Okay, I watched the movie last week. Very good, very good, very good, okay? Uh, Fatima Ramirez, give me another one. Last weekend, we went to Los Naranjos. We went to Los Naranjos, okay? Very good, all right? Very good, okay? So, coma, right? Coma at the beginning, very good. All right, let's use the time reference at the end. David, David, hit on. Let's go. An example, right? Yes. Uh, let me think. Last week, I went to buy a lot of food at the supermarket. Very good, I went to buy a lot of food at the supermarket. Very good, okay? Now, let's use it at the end, all right? Uh, Fatima Campos, give me one, but use it at the end. Use the time reference at the end, not at the beginning. Okay, um, two years ago, I started uh, at the, at the end, English. At the end, at the end, at the end. Oh, yeah. Um, I started studying English two years ago. Okay, I started studying English 
two years ago. Very good. Okay, no call if we use it at the end. Ellie, all right, give me another one. Using the time reference at the end. I woke up eight o'clock. I woke up at eight. Okay, all clock. Okay, all right. Very good. Okay, that's a specific time reference. Very good. I think that you got it, guys. Okay, I think easy peasy. All right, so let's move on. All right, any questions so far, guys? Questions, questions, questions? All right, guys. So, okay, take a screenshot or write it down in your notebook, right? Biomechanics, it's easier to remember if you write it down and use, I mean, if you use your hands, your hands to write it down, All right? But we use three, uh, we use present perfect, guys. All right, there are more uses than this, but usually, right, to report a recent event without being, without a specific time reference, okay? All right. What is the second one, uh, David Hiron? Second one is repeated action in the past with no time reference. Very good job, okay. All right, repeated actions in the past with no time reference, right? Very good. Uh, Thomas, what is the third one? Actions or, or situations that began in the past and continue until now. Very good job, okay. It was the first example that I was referring to regarding the train, uh, right? But it's not all the time, guys, okay, all right? These are... I mean, sometimes it can be, you know, that you're reporting a recent event. Sometimes it could be a repeated action in the past, but no, no time reference. And sometimes it could be a combination of all of them or, or some of them, you know? All right. The thing that you have to remember, guys, is that the structure, okay? All right. We're going to get to the structure soon. But uh, if, if you follow the structure, guys, that becomes a prefer present perfect sentence, right? All right. So moving on. All right, so now what about simple past? Okay, uh, Miguel, Miguel Bolaños. What about simple past, Miguel? Miguel, all right, Miguel. I think he went to the bathroom or something. All right, uh, guys, uh, <laughs> there you go, Miguel. Armando, what do we use simple past for? I read the thing that to describe an event that happened at a specific time in the past. Very good job, all right? Take a screenshot, guys, okay? Or write it down in your notebook to describe an event that happened at a specific time in the past, right? Very good. Now, doesn't mean, guys, that, are we, that we're always going to use a time reference when we talk about simple past, yes or not? What do you think? Thomas, are we always uh, going to give a time reference when we're talking in, the, in simple past? Yes. Uh, you say that we have this kind of events that happen at a specific time in the past. So yeah, we're gonna, no, we're not gonna, well, we're talking about the past, yes. I think, I don't know. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, <laughs> no, okay. I, I mentioned this, I, I already said it, but I want, Okay, but I'm not, I want you to, to, uh, to think about an example and just conclude, the, uh, you know, um, do your, bring, you know, bring up your conclusion out of that, okay? So think about a sentence in simple past and tell me if it is necessary to always use a time reference or is the time reference optional or do we use it just in some cases? Um, well, it's optional as far as I know it, all that it is, it's an event that is already done. That Very good job. Have. Very good job. Okay. Applause for Miguel, guys. Good job, Miguel. Yes, guys. Okay. So we are studying, okay. We're studying one of its uses. Okay. We're studying one of the uses of simple past. However, it does not mean, guys, that you always have to use a time reference, okay? It's just sometimes, you know, if you wanna use a time reference, you can use a time reference in simple past, right? But that does not happen in, in uh, present perfect. Any question? <laughs> Sorry about that, any question? <laughs> so far. <laughs> All right, so far so good? <laughs> All right, very good, very good, okay. Sorry guys, <laughs> I'm kinda tired. <laughs> All right, very, very good guys, so. 
All right, so let's get some practice, guys, okay? All right, so I want you to get together, guys, okay? You're gonna do two things, okay? You're gonna practice, okay? You're gonna practice questions and um, you're gonna practice questions, guys, using simple past and present perfect, okay? I'm gonna send those questions to the WhatsApp group. And at the same time, you're gonna work in couples and you're gonna complete this exercise right now. Yes? We good? Good. Okay, very good. If, guys, sometimes, you know, people are not really, uh, I mean, people don't join, can't join in time, um, you know, so if that happens, guys, I mean, let me know so I can get you somebody else quickly, okay? Because you might be, you might end up being alone here. Uh, so I, I, just let me know, okay? I always, you know, I'm always checking, but um, just let me know. All right, let's go, guys. So exercise 2.2. <coughs> Hello, Lydia. Sorry, I didn't understand because the internet is like kind of. Hola. Hello. Oh. Hello. I was asking if you can share your um your screen because I can. I think that a group of thieves have stolen the dragon's eyes ruby from the grand gallery. Uh huh. Okay. We will try. Okay. Yes, it's right. Just have stolen, right? Cabriolet. later. Did you put copy on there? Yeah, has stolen. Did you copy that? Ah, but my internet is very slow. <laughs> okay. And my computer too. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Okay. Good Randy. job, guys. Good job. <laughs> okay. Uh, continue because. It's correct because I read it and it's correct. All right, I wrote it, okay? Uh, remember in the past, right? I wrote it and it's correct. You wrote it? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, very good. All right, all good, guys? Yes, I think that. All right. Ellie, all good? A group of thieves. Okay, you're missing the past participle tense there. All right. Very good, okay? All right, uh, last night about 10 a.m. the alarm. Went or have gone. All right, it says present perfect or past tense, okay? So remember, is it giving you a specific time? Yes. So what so do you use for a specific possible. time? Exactly. Very good, very good, okay? Good job. Okay, all right. Uh, group of thieves. Okay, have stolen the dragon's eye from the grand gallery. Okay, now a group of thieves. A group of thieves. So there's um they're singular because there's a group. Okay, very good. Okay, good job. All right. Mm. All right, now uh, the alarm went off, okay? So I'm not sure what, I don't know, I don't know if you have to use the whole, um, 
The the phrasal verb there? Do I add it? Okay, I'm not sure about that, but uh, let's see. Yes. Um, oh, okay, so you had to um, use the phrasal verb. There you go, guys, you're good. Very good, very good. All right, so uh, I'm going to send you guys, yeah. I'm going to send you the conversation topics right now. Okay. Maybe give me one moment here. Who's chatting? Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to send you the questions. Okay, so these are questions, guys, taken from, you know, a grammar test. So let me send them to you. Let me log into my WhatsApp group. Where is it? Hold on. All right. Okay, so you have the questions there. So we're good. Where? Where? On the I sent them to the uh, to the WhatsApp group, guys. Okay, okay, then. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. To the building immediately. Okay, I'm gonna try that one because we don't have to make a big change. Like uh, he says, wrong again too. So, so I sent you guys. I sent you the um, the conversations on the you know on the WhatsApp group. If you want to take a look at them. Okay, I ask uh, ask the group if they have seen some of your favorite movies. Have you made some changes? Ah, uh, have you ever have you ever shot a gun? Yes. Have you ever been an animal? I have never ridden on any animals. I don't like horses. I'm afraid of them. Um, uh, what do you think about the animals? I don't like horses. I'm afraid of them. Let's see. <laughs> What, Veronica, have you yes. ever have you ever traveled to Spain? Uh, what is that? I would never have traveled to Spain. Have you ever yes. have you ever ridden? Have you ever traveled to Spain? No, never. And you? Never. Yes, I have. I traveled. I have traveled to Spain to Spain twice. Um, really? For what? Yeah. Or for yeah, work on a cruise. Mm, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, it was fun. Good experience. Uh, what about, have you played any soccer in your life? Yes, yes I did yes. in the school. Oh, okay, good. Uh, what is the best place you have ever been? The best place i uh -huh. ever been. The mm -hmm. best place. <gasps> Okay, thank you. And I think that's it. We good with the yeah. answers, guys? Yeah. All right, so if you're done, if you're done with that, uh, let's go ahead and practice the conversations, the conversation topics that I sent to the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay. And uh, at 8.55, we're gonna go through the answers on the exercise. All right, uh, which, which, by the way, which answer did you find difficult? I mean, I yeah, actually which... had a silly issue. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading the whole sentence. Oh, you were typing in. When you use a computer, it's not writing. It's typing right? in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's typing in, right? Okay. My God, your eyes look red, man. <laughs> it's because the, there's a... 
Oh, okay. The camera SLM. And... Yeah. Yeah, no, like, they, they, they look cooler, man. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good, okay. All right, so I'll check on the other guys. Uh, any questions, let me know, okay? Okay. I've called. I try and use correct. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Number seven. Jayden. So, how did it go, guys? Did you finish it? Uh, not yet, but... Almost. Okay. Yeah. Which ones are you having difficulties with? Uh, really? uh, second. <laughs> okay, the second one, you have to use the whole phrasal verb. Yes. yes. Went off. Went off, right? Yes. But you have to type it in like, like completely. It went off. Yeah. All right, yeah. what about the first one? Are you good with the first one? Yes. Okay. The first one is third person. That's not, it's not they, it's, it's it, right? I group. I group yeah. of thieves, right? Uh -huh. Has stolen. Has, Has stolen. stolen, very good. Okay. Okay, number seven. They believe it is probable that the thief left the city. Have left because it's plural. Um, which which one? No. Number three. Number seven. seven. Oh, number seven. They believe it is probable that the thieves. Have no, left. the thieves is plural, guys. Thieves uh, is plural. Yeah. Right? So we use how. Have left. Uh huh. I don't know. What do you think? Try. Yeah. It's correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number eight. How do you say cura curator? Curator. Curator. The what? It's number eight. The curator of oh, curator. What is the correct pronunciation? Yeah. Uh, hold on, I'm sending a message. Very good. So the, hold on, let me see. Which one? Oh, the number eight. Oh, you mean a cura uh, curator? Yeah, it's curator. Curator. Uh -huh. curator. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. The curator of the Grand Gallery. Now, do you know what that is? No. I uh, really know. What do you think it is, David? Is it someone who, who heals people? Who heals people. No, no, it's not that. I mean, what do it's you think? It's like it a nurse or some, a doctor or something. No, like it's not that. It's not that. <laughs> My owner? Okay. It's no. a curator, guys. Is a curator is someone who is like the keeper of a museum. Okay. So it's like, uh, how can I tell you this? Um. <laughs> So it's it's the person who owns pretty much, you know, the gallery. Do you know what the gallery is? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good, okay. So it's actually a person who, who case, this is not the owner, it's the, the person who takes care of them. Got it? Oh, yeah. Mm. All right. So it's it's a person who takes care of them. All right. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Curator. Curator. Okay, the creative and gallery of 50,000. All right, so we're going to go back now. Uh, so we're going to see the answers. Ooh. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Very yeah. good. Very good. Okay. Thought that mm -hmm. something might have happened to my microphone. Hey, what happened to I? I know one of you. I know why one of you left, but where's the other people? Anyway, so let's uh, get back to it, guys. Okay, so answer for number one, guys. A group of thieves. First of all, guys, this is a third person, right? Because we're referring to a group. So the answer is a group of thieves. What? Has stolen. Okay. Has stolen. Good. Has stolen. Okay. I right, don't say has it's stolen, guys, because it's. All right. There is a liaison here, right? It's a, the same as, right? Has stolen. Just has stolen, right? So has stolen. Has. Ah. Uh -huh. 
Yes, okay. Stolen, right? Stolen. Very good. Okay. Uh, last night about 1 a.m. First off, am I being specific about time? Yes. No. Am I giving a time? At about at yeah. about one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes, I am giving a time reference. So simple past or simple pre or present perfect. Simple past went off. Simple past, right? So the simple answer past. is went off. You have to use the phrasal verb went off here. Number three. So what is number three? I did that in this decided not right. Uh, do we have to write a comma after AM? Okay. Uh, Rush. Uh, which one? The second one. No, you, you, one you only have to write to type in went off. Went off. Oh. Yeah, not the whole sentence, guys, just the answer. Ah, okay, got it, got it, got it. All right. Good. Okay. All right, Thank police, you. police, very good. Police, what, guys? Rushed. Uh, police rushed, rushed, right? Police rushed. But they. Where? They, where? Where? All right, right after learning of the robbery, the mayor. The mayor, Seth. what? Seth. Seth, right? Three people. <coughs> three people, oh. what? Have called. Have called. Very good. They believe it is probable. That the thieves have left. Have left. Have left. Right, the city. Right. Uh, the curator of the grand gallery offered. has offered. Has offered. Okay, let's see. Well done, guys. So those are the right answers. Very good. Everything's okay. Very good, guys. All right. So was this topic clear, guys? Sure. All right. Yes, guys, it was, uh, okay, I think I think you understood pretty well. I didn't see anybody hesitating on the answers. Very good, so uh, very well done, guys. It's been nice seeing you. Um, I don't know if it's if it's rained, guys, where you've been, where you live, but it hasn't rained here. So <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, guys, this, this hurricane is kind of like very calm here, right, in El Salvador. Anyways, but uh, if you have any questions, guys, Please, guys, the most important thing is to finish the platform. If you have not finished um, section one, guys, please do it today. All right. Uh, the answers, I gave you the answers again yet today. But, guys, that's why we have the videos, right? I would love to spend, guys, all right? I would love to spend the whole day with, with each of you, uh, you know, giving you the answers. But I cannot do that, guys, right? Nobody, I don't think that anybody can do that. We all work. And um, that's why we have the class here, right, at this time. And that's why the videos are uploaded, so you can, you can watch them, okay? So please, please, guys, just take care of that. I will see each of you tomorrow, guys. Please come to class. Don't miss it. I have another class now. But, guys, love you all. Thank you so much for coming, and you take care of yourselves. Have a good day. Thank you. You too, guys. Nice seeing you. Take care, guys. Take care.